I'm Akshay Oberoi. I am part of the Oberoi Committee. And you're watching us on MissMalini.com. Yeah. Um, yeah, this is an atypical film. Uh, what drew me to the script is that, is that it's atypical, it's something different. Uh, I think as a new age actor or a new age actress, you have to do something that's a little different to kind of pull people into the audience and get interested in your work. Doing the same stuff is kind of boring and, you know, ordinary. And um, what excites me about the movie is it's a chance to do something different. Well, I, yeah, I did, I did quite a bit. Um, I visited a bunch of pizza shops to see how, just, I mean, it's not like you're trying to get something specific, you're just trying to get as much information in your head as possible, because at some, during some scene, somewhere it might work or connect. Um, so I would just chill out, talk to them, watch them make pizzas, watch them answer phone calls. I asked to go on a couple of deliveries, they didn't let me go with them. Like nobody, and I've been to maybe like 40 of these pizza joints. Nobody let me go. They were like, no sir, no, whatever. But, <laughs> and I, uh, then I went to a bunch of graveyards as well and sat there at like 3.30 in the morning when ghosts come out and tried to just feel the feeling of fear. Um, and then we did a workshop as well. Yeah, we did quite a few uh, workshops to get the Talk about together. the graveyard. The graveyard, the, the twitch sound that you were getting. Oh yeah, so when, I was, when I was at the graveyard, the first day that I went, like 3.30 in the morning, half an hour into it, I was like, nothing is happening here, this is pointless, I want to go back home and sleep. Suddenly, I heard this like noise coming like behind me. It, it sounded, you know, static. Like when you plug in an electrical point, it makes that like this kind of sound. So I like snapped back to hear it, and it was like gone. Nothing was there, and I was like freaked to shit. And I was like, I need to get out of here. But I stayed. I stayed till about like 4:15. Uh, that was spooky. That was spooky. Hey, I believe in spirits and ghosts. She is a spirit and a ghost. I also practice. She, she is in front of you right here. She gets a witch. <laughs> but we have uh, beautiful songs, uh, all different uh, different genres. And uh, uh, we have uh, we the song called Gimme Pizza, which is a very peppy and uh, very very youthful, energetic number. You know, the team is eating pizza right now. I think we should also yes. capture that. That's, that's, pretty, that's pretty cool. That's, like, that's pretty cool. That's awesome. That's commitment. Uh, yeah, and uh, there's uh, Terja, which is a very jazzy kind of song, oh, uh, which he likes a lot. Yeah, that's my favorite. Uh, my favorite is Tum Chaldi, uh, which is which is a romantic ballad. And, uh, it, that, that is a song which is, which is shot mostly in uh, montages. And it, like all the songs are uh, important and you know they kind of uh, tell you about the story but they won't take away from the story. So people are still uh, sitting at the edge of the seat while this goes on. So there is no typical uh, running around the trees and lip syncing and you know uh, there is none of that and we I think our director was very clear in his head of what he wants when he's shooting the film so we have not taken away from uh, the story and uh, kept the songs really uh, you So know, how about you sing that one now? <laughs> Um, Parthi had that light incident where the light almost fell on her. I had an incident which is not spooky or scary or anything. It's more uh, life or death, I would say. Yeah, that was that was that was scary for us. <laughs> so basically, there's a scene in the film where I have to. I'm looking for her and I'm running around frantically through the house searching, can't find her, run out to the street. It was 4 in the morning so I thought, okay, I'm doing my job. I gotta go, run out, get in a taxi, that's the scene requirement. So I thought the road would be empty. Uh, other people would have done their jobs and block yeah. the road. So I didn't think about it at all. He called, the director called action, I ran out to the street and lo and behold I look right. And about 100 meters away there's a truck coming at full speed. And I was yes. like, oh my god, this is the end. So then I like somehow just like lean back or like step back and this truck just goes right from my nose and like just misses me. That was and, scary. Uh, wow. Yeah, I think it's on, I think there is, it's on the camera, there's a shot up in a bit of it. We don't have it? Okay. Well. It's on the other end. So that was pretty spooky, I would yeah. say. But I think uh, we had good spirits around, therefore we got safe. Uh, yeah, <laughs> there, positive, were, positive, there were no... Uh, positive ghosts. Uh, good incidents. It's not them acting with there was action the spirits, it's not us. And um, what were your favorite scenes in the film? 
uh, for me, I think uh, you know the, the kind of chemistry that uh, you know Nikita and Kunal, that's, that, that are the names of the characters in the film. Uh, there is, uh, you know, we, we do not want to take away from the thrill, suspense aspect of it. So there are very few scenes which kind of uh, shows that. And there's this one very, uh, you know, there is this very cute scene where uh, we've had a fight and we're making up for it. I think that that's. That's so that's a very uh, sweet uh, scene that, that we have to shoot it like in like in a span of uh, an hour or something, and we just finish that, and uh, it it's turned out to be good. So I think uh, I mean we we've, all, all the days that I've shot with Akshay, I think they we've had uh, some moments in the other which were like really good, and there's a scene where I have to break down completely, I have to, I have to cry, and. Uh, I think uh, that that kind of boxy emotional uh, side out of it. Yeah, so they, uh, uh, both the Akshays, my director and my co-star made me cry so much for that scene. We just want to see her crying all the time. <laughs> I, would, I would agree with that. I think that is my favourite chunk of shooting as well. Um, because as we said earlier, this is not your run-of-the-mill run Bollywood film. It has a lot of, I mean, we've tried to cut the fat. We've tried to make it about the story and about the pacing and the thrills in the story. So we're not holding you hostage to songs and love scenes and romantic unnecessary tracks. Uh, so it's limited in the film of the love angle of it. But those are the most fun to shoot because they're the most different and the most light and uh, you have something to play off. And the, the rest of the film is just kind of me walking around using my imagination, uh, having people scared. Well, uh, it was fun working on this film because uh, this is the first film where uh, I, I'm actually seeing a 3D camera and because uh, you know most of our film is shot uh, 3D so it was a different experience altogether compared to working with uh, working with a normal camera uh, that sh to shoot a film. I think it's, it's very different uh, because there's a lot of factors that come into being and you know the technical aspects I cannot talk about that the director would speak about. But there is so much, uh, so much more to the film when when that aspect comes into being, and it was fun shooting. Um, but having said that, we we all we all uh, as a team of pizza, we we came along because we wanted to do a different kind of cinema. But I think as actors, we would want to explore uh, you know various uh, genres of acting, and you know want to do different kinds of roles, and not limit us uh, limit ourselves to just one kind of. Uh, role and you know stick to that. I mean, I do like the word atypical in general because uh, I think that movies and these specific kind of careers, whether it comes to music or any kind of art or creative field, requires you to be a little different because you, it is your personality uh, that's being reflected in the work uh, or the film. And if it's not different and you're like somebody else, then you're just a clone and it's not interesting. So I do like that it's atypical. I do. I do hope my future works are also different and atypical. Uh, but not necessarily in the same the genre. Same genre yeah. ah. experience. The most thrilling experience was making pizza 3D. <laughs> Nothing is more thrilling than making this movie. What do you say, Paul? You almost had a death-defying act. <laughs> <laughs> I think that should be the most that spookiest, should be the thrilling, most thrilling experience. Yeah. Making the movie was a lot of fun. I, I think that this has been the most thrilling uh, part of my life. Yeah. yeah, he's literally put his blood and sweat into I have, I have. Bed and sweated <laughs> and every single one of these lots of funny yeah, I think we laughed through the making of this movie. Well one thing in funny in general is uh, is the director's relationship with the DOP. Uh, the DOP yeah. is a cameraman or the uh, uh, cinematographer. There were always violence playing when they would <laughs> discuss the shot. <laughs> the, <genre. laughs> the real romantic track of this film is between the two of them. <laughs> Uh, so we would have a lot of fun watching them talk. They're both from Andhra Pradesh. They both speak Telugu. So they'd be talking, and you know, they, you know, this is the the sign of a camera. You know, whatever this is how we placing a camera, or whatever. So they were constantly talking to each other like lovebirds and making this <laughs> at each other. <laughs> so I think we would always crack up watching them talk. Yeah, we we had a lot of fun. Uh, we had a lot of fun making this video. And our director uh, looks very serious, but he's a prankster at heart. And yeah. uh, he's, he pulled a couple of pranks on Akshay. He messed with me so yeah. I've realized how naive I am. <laughs> he messed with my mind a couple of times. It's just the beard that makes him look a little uh, Yeah, serious mature, and mature, right? but really, something's lacking up here. I fell, I fell for like every prank possible. <laughs> I think uh, the, the best incident, which I, I, I just laughed for like 15 minutes watching it, was. Uh, what, the making videos where you know Akshay is supposed to 
get the pizza to a woman and she's supposed to interact with him and she suddenly goes berserk and starts shouting at him and he just goes like, uh, this okay, the this is not in the script, what's happening? And I'm trying to be a committed actor and like go, go with the flow but it's impossible because what she's saying is like, why isn't anyone yelling cut? What is she talking about? But of course it was Mr. Director's idea of a good director. time. Mine was wow. Yeah. See, it's a Tamil film that we've adapted, so I think we saw the. I saw the film before yeah. I read the script, and yeah. uh, when I saw the film, I said, "Wow, I can't believe it! Wow, this is the kind of film that I would have only dreamt to be a part of, just because of the content. I mean, good content like that in our industry comes across very rarely." And uh, I think Akshay has come up. Our director has come up with a very good, uh, you know, adaptation of it because he's added a lot of things that that uh, the Bollywood audiences can relate to. Yeah. And uh, it's, it's, it's tweaked a lot uh, according to uh, the mindset that the, the Bollywood audience has. And uh, I think it's, it's great when a, fi a regional film like this, which was appreciated and loved by the audience, just goes out and reaches out to a wider audience. And, uh, I think that's, that's, uh, that's, that's what uh, we all have uh, you know, given our best. And, uh, that's something which, which is going to come through. Because we're in it. I mean, I don't see any other reason why. <laughs> uh, no, I think that um, it's after a long time you're going to watch a movie that's a little different. Um, and uh, whenever something like that, and good different, you know, when you come out, you're like, wow, that's fresh, that's new. Um, and I'm excited to see what kind of reactions that garners because I feel like it should kind of have that word of mouth spreading around where people are buzzing about it, talking about it post the release of the. I mean, uh, I, I feel that with Pizza 3D, uh, you know, people are going to have a different uh, mindset completely with reference to that kind of that kind of genre of films. Yeah, because we don't have uh, too many uh, films like these coming up. And uh, at the same time, we also have audiences who are now open to watching different kind of cinema. They want to watch. Uh, movies which are uh, not the usual uh, films that are being made and uh, they are looking forward for it and, and uh, you know uh, from, from what I have you know uh, got like the responses that I have got from youngsters uh, from schools and colleges who have watched the trailers is that they want to see that more kind more of uh, more cinema on, the, on that that lines and I think that is the best part you know because yeah. we are coming at a time where uh, the, the youth wants to see uh, something new and I think with this film, uh, you know, it's, it's really gonna, you know, uh, really change the mindset. Yeah, just to add to what she's saying, um, usually in Bollywood specifically, we have a certain uh, context as to what horror and thriller actually means mm -hmm. and we're so used to consuming it a certain way um, and this is obviously not that, so I'm very interested to see how the genre also de redevelops or redefines itself. Because it's not just horror, it is, uh, yeah. it's not just thriller, it has, it has a mix of... Like we don't uh, have a Sufi yeah. song and uh, you know, a, a girl coming in a fl flowing dress, you know, we don't, we don't have that which is usually what a horror and thriller has in its packaging. Yeah. Um, so I'm very interested to see how this redefines that kind of space. Go watch Pizza 3D, okay? 18th July, right? 18th July. Don't disappoint us because we will find you, we'll hunt you down, we'll drag you to the theatre. You see this face? I'm serious. You deliver the pizza as well. Yeah. Post watching the movie, I'll get you a pizza if you want. <laughs>